So a month ago, I published this best cybersecurity role and specialization video. And if you haven't watched it yet, kindly click the link below. I discussed various cybersecurity roles with their description, but really didn't talk about much about the tools, devices, and certifications per specialization. So in this video, I will list the top certification for the third rank best cybersecurity role, and this is SOC Engineer. I will talk about three levels, the junior or associate, professional or intermediate level, and the advanced level. Consider this as an upgrade of my 2023 and 2024 best security operations or blue team certification video. Take note, all of these certifications that I will mention are focuses more on defensive security, security analysis, threat hunting, incident response in a SOC environment. You may find me a little biased. Well, this is my video, so deal with it. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location. Like nice video Dean from Sweden, Colombia, Brunei. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city. Like from Cape Town, Detroit, Tehran, etc. First, the associate or junior level. In my 2024 best blue team certification videos, I put security blue team level one and Cisco certified cyber ops associate. Well, I will not revise this two certification. This is it. The only thing that I will revise is the Cisco certification because they renamed their certification to Cisco certified cybersecurity associate. The training outline and the exact blueprint are just the same. They just changed their name of the certification. Other contenders are CompTIA CYSA+. But I would choose Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate over this certification to the fact that it's more hands-on. And if you attend the course, you would thought that it's all Cisco security. No. It's actually a hybrid of open source tools and Cisco security solutions focuses on security or SOC environment. It's a good start to learn cybersecurity operation. Also, Cisco has a professional level. You see, after getting the associate level, it would be better if you would look forward to leveling your certification up. Another contender is Try Hack Me certification. Yes, they introduced this new certification just recently. It's called Try Hack Me SAL1. Stands for Security Analyst Level 1. Though it looks promising, it's still too new for us. I would choose BLT or Security Blue Team Level 1 over this certification because Security Blue Team certification has been around for several years and it's more well recognized. To know more about Security Blue Team certification, kindly watch this video. I highly recommend to limit maximum of two associate level certifications. And after acquiring these two certs, you can now move to the professional level. So let's talk about pricing. Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate costs 300 US dollars. This is without training and without lab access. While Security Blue Team Level 1 costs 399 pounds, which is a little over than 500 US dollars. It's really not that expensive if you think about it, as is this comes in a package that includes not only an exam, but lab access, training resources, and two, not just one, but two exam attempts. Let's go now to the professional or intermediate level. It's really easy, you know, just level up. So from Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Associate to Cisco Certified Cybersecurity Professional. And uh, from Security Blue Team Level 1, just move to Security Blue Team Level 2. And to be honest with you, that's enough. Well, if there is an alternative, I would go for Hack the Box. Certified Defensive Security Analyst, or CBSA. Comparing to the previous Best Security Operations Certification videos that we had, 2024, uh, I actually added OSDA, or Offensive Security Defense Analyst. Uh, I dropped this because, well, first, it's too expensive. 
I also had a conversation with someone who took the exam recently. And based on the discussion we had, we conclude it's not really worth it for its price. What else? Oh, from the previous video to 2024, we also had INE certifications. We have ECIR or eLearn certified, excuse me, eLearn security certified incident responder, ECTHP or eLearn security certified threat hunter professional, and ECDF eLearn security certified digital forensic professional. I will drop. I will drop this three. Well, nothing wrong getting these certifications, but yeah, I have to drop them. So, under professional level, I just recommend these three certifications. Let's talk about the pricing. So, Cisco certified cybersecurity professional cost 700 US dollars. This is a total of two exams. One is a core exam. The title of the exam is CBR Core, aka Performing Cybersecurity using Cisco security technologies and one concentration exam. The title of the exam is CBR FIR or conducting forensic analysis and incident response using Cisco technologies. And unlike some other Cisco professional level certifications that offer multiple concentration exam options, the Cisco cybersecurity professional certifications only has one concentration. This is CBR FIR exam. So, 700 US dollars without training materials and without lab access. Now, for the Blue Team Level 2, this cost 1,999 pounds or 2,700 US dollars. I know it's pretty high in cost. You might not be able to afford it. Well, I would suggest your company or it should be your company who sponsor it. But. Again, if you can't afford it, we have an alternative. We have another option. Um, I would recommend you to just go for Hack the Box CDSA. It's only 490 US dollars. This is with training materials, lab access, and of course, an exam attempt. Let's now move to the expert level. There is only one certification for this level. And uh, I really don't think it's an expert level certification. Let's just call it advanced technical and leadership. This is Certified Security Operations Manager or CSOM by Security Blue Team. Yes, this is the upgrade of your Security Blue Team Level 2. But this is for technical manager role in a SOC environment. This is not a pure technical certification because the exam is not hands-on lab but rather multiple choice or scenario based that emphasizes decision making and understanding management practices. It covers performing threat modeling to identify threats, understands security operation functions and the value they bring to the organization. It also includes learning how to build a SOC, including the people, technology and processes, learning how to conduct maturity assessments for SOC and much more. The cost is 1,999 British pounds. This is the same price of Security Blue Team Level 2. And just like any Security Blue Team certifications, package consists of training materials, lab access, and two exam attempts. The exam is again, multiple choice consists of 100 to 150 questions in two hours. Now, let's plan your SOC engineer career. You see, I don't mind you starting your certification journey with CCNA, Security Plus, Linux Cloud, etc. But there is this plan that I want to share to you. You see, you should do this if you are serious on your Security Operations Center engineer career. And not only the engineer career, but a path towards to becoming a manager or technical manager or technical expert as well. So first level, we have the associate level. We have Cisco certified cybersecurity associate and security blue team level one. For our professional level, we have Cisco certified cybersecurity professional and security blue team level two. We also have hack the box CDSA. 
for the expert level, um, our Cisco certification is still black. And I'm not sure if Cisco will introduce Cisco certified cybersecurity experts soon. But if they do, it's going to be a good option. And this is good if you think CSOM is too expensive. You see, Cisco certified cybersecurity expert lab, if it happens, the exam would probably charge or cost the same of any CCIE lab exam, which is 1,600 US dollars. But for now, the only certification for this level is CSOM. I know, it's pricey. But consider the promotion and the opportunities that it could open up for you. 2,700 US dollars? I, don't th I think that would be a good investment for your career. And uh, there is another option. Well, not available yet. If you look at the pattern of Hack the Box, Hack the Box certification comes with a professional and expert level. For example, they have CBBH or Certified Bug Bounty Hunter, that is professional level, and their expert level is Certified Web Exploitation Expert. So, we may see an expert level version of CDSA in the future. You see what we did there? Three levels and three certification organization. So, what do you think of this certification plan for your SOC engineer career?